everybody, welcome back. Welcome along also to all of our new subscribers. It's great to have you with us. Uh, thanks for all your messages and feedback and questions regarding the content that I'm uploading here. And if you do want to get in touch anytime, you can find my website right here. Just use the contact form on there and uh, I will respond to you as quickly as I can. Uh, this is a follow up to a video we did a couple of weeks ago together where I talked about in between notes where, you know, that thing where we went and looking at how many notes were occurring in between the rhythmic figures of a phrase. And this exercise kind of takes that and approaches it from a slightly different angle. Now, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to play uh, double strokes and I'm going to play double strokes on the two crash cymbals. Hmm. Okay, why? Well, I'll show you. So that's obviously going to be this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in between in triplets. So remember how we looked at that last time, what sticking has to be in the in-between notes to put you back where you want to be. So it's going to be... So primary note of the double followed by two lefts and then left right so we turn it over onto the alternating hand. Now, if you know a bit about my technique, uh, it won't surprise you to learn the, the uh, in-between notes on the snare. I'm playing using just the uh, middle finger of the right hand and the index finger of the left hand, while the whole hand grip is making the crashes, because going to a crash cymbal with a whole hand grip is much more secure than just going at it with thumb and index finger, which is going to send your stick totally out of where you want it to be, probably out of your hand altogether if you're really unlucky. So that's the basis of today's exercise, it's just this. Now let's look at that through the prism of some of the other things that we know about, like all these different uh, orchestration combinations that we have on the uh, snare and two toms. My four-piece warrior friends among you will uh, recognize some of this immediately. So if we go to the next orchestration, which is this one, and do the same thing. Now let's mirror that and go here. So I was going through to this orchestration, number four, and then number five, and so on. And you can start improvising with that. Let's try that a little more slowly so you can see what I'm doing. Three, four. Now, triplet in between notes is probably the most challenging of all of these. But so if you went up to 16th notes and did with 16th note fill. It gets a lot easier. That's really good for that left lead crash, developing the weaker side, being able to resolve phrases to your weaker side. That's a really, really good skill and will help your flow and fluency around the drums. Now let's just do something crazy with this now, just like have like one note, eighth note. Uh, just doing that completely, you know, 
Apple Pro, nothing. But I think I might actually look at that and expand it. So you can do this any way. You can have any number of notes in between notes, okay? Any subdivision, whatever you want. Uh, and you can use any pattern. So I was using double strokes, right, 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 and any orchestration. So if you look at this, you can see there's huge potential in here. And once again, the great thing about it is every one of you who does this will come out sounding differently. And what could be better than finding your own voice on the instrument and only playing things that other drummers have played before if you want to? Hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you soon. Keep subscribing, keep looking in, uh, keep in touch with all the various things that I've got going on, both uh, on the internet and live performances. There are live performances listed on my website. And uh, if you come to a gig, do come and say hello, and I'll see you soon, either in the real world or on here. Take care for now. Thanks for watching.